This video will show you how to use a character text display with DCS BIOS. On the left here, I have the Hello World example open that comes with the Arduino IDE. On the right, I have opened the template sketch that comes with the DCS BIOS Arduino library. First, let's make sure that uh, my display actually works. To do that, I'm going to upload the Hello World sketch, but first I have to um, replace these pin numbers with, with the ones that my particular display actually uses. In my case, that is pin A, 9, 3, 5, 6, and 7. So let's upload that to the board. And there we go. The display works. Now I want to use that display to show information from my cockpit. To do that, I'm going to need to include the liquid crystal library here. And I will need the LCD object. And I will also need to initialize everything in the setup routine here. And for good measure, let's clear the display when uh, the sketch starts up. Now all that's missing is the code that actually displays data from the cockpit on my display. To add that code, I am going to refer to the control reference documentation that comes with DCS BIOS. Select the ATMC and let's put the uh, current UHF frequency on the first line of the display. Here we have the UHF frequency display. So we copy this piece of example code to our sketch. And right here, I need to replace this comment with code that actually puts this uh, value on the display. So first we tell the display where to begin with set cursor, column zero, line 0. And next we print our new value for the UHF frequency to the display. Let's also put uh, the clock display on the second line. So I'm going to select the digital clock here. And that actually exports uh, several small strings, which we are going to put on different places on the display. I'm going to put the hours display on the first column in the second line. The minutes display will go uh, on the third column that is the zero index here. So there will be a space between the hours and the minutes. And then second line. And the same will be done for the seconds.
and the ETC value. Okay, let's upload the sketch. Uh, now all I have to do is to start the script to connect to serial port. Now that that's running, let's see what is showing on our display. As you can see, we have the UHF frequency on the first line and the clock on the second line. And if I now go to my A10 cockpit and change my UHF frequency, you can see it changing on the display. And I can also switch my clock mode and you can see that the clock is also correctly exported.